Hi guys, today I'm gonna share the process of my functional planning and time management on a vertical layout in my Passion Planner. I also review some of my pens that I use for planner. So if they sound interesting to you, please stay tuned. But before diving into plan with me, I'd like to make two quick announcements. I'm more active on Instagram posting planner related pictures at least once a week, and if you want to share your planner picture, please feel free to add a hashtag PlannerGirl777. We talked about this on a live stream I did the other day. For those who showed up on the live stream, thank you very much, and I'm so sorry that I couldn't respond. It was hard to do both in Japanese and in English. Also in December, I'm gonna share my weekly spread and to do list every day on Instagram stories. December is famous for Vlogmas here on YouTube, but it simply takes too much time, so I decided to do a Vlogmas like stuff on Instagram stories. If you struggle building a productivity routine and habit, or just simply want to stay motivated in using Planner, feel free to join me with a hashtag PlannerGirl777 on Instagram stories as well. I added a short tutorial at the end of this video for those who are not familiar with Instagram. So I start off by writing down my appointments. As you can see here, I block time for appointments using the mild liners. For the past few weeks, I just used a thinner tip of the pen to draw a box and write an appointment. But then, in this week that you're seeing now, I try to color the box using the bolder tip of the pen, just to see how it would look like. But now that I compare with the two ways to write appointment, I prefer not coloring the box, it looks more simple and clean. And especially because I highlight each line like this, which I will explain what this means later in this video. Also, I decided to stick with one color this time. I sort of like try to be a minimalist with colors. I don't want colors to be all over the place. So I'm gonna use gray mild liner to indicate appointments. So after writing my appointments, I divide each day into planning and tracking sections. As you can see here, I draw a line from the top to the bottom. And I've been doing this probably for about a few weeks now. So I'm gonna do the same thing in this spread. For dividing a section, I use this 0.38mm friction pen. I make an appointment box using the whole space, like this. So I need to erase a section line when I come up with a new appointment. That's where this handy friction pen comes in, with the eraser attached on the top. So now I'm gonna move on to setting weekly focus and weekly goals. As for a weekly focus, I divide it into two parts. Throughout the whole month, I've been trying to build a habit of two things. One is to work two hours in the morning for my dissertation, and the other is no SNS till 5 pm. So that's what I'm gonna write for this week as well. And actually, I keep track of the two habits in this monthly spread that I found online for free. As you can see, I didn't do well on the week of 20th, but it's been super helpful to stay motivated. 
and in the bottom box, I write down my weekly projects. First, I cover up the header with washi tape because it is originally designed for gratitude journal. And now we finally dive into the heart of the planning process, blocking time for important projects. Basically, I plan each day by blocking time for my important projects on the left section, which I made for a planning space. And the right section is for tracking. For time blocking, I'm gonna use this set of Stabilo Pastel highlighters that I purchased the other day. As you can see, I've been using mild liners for blocking time as well as appointments. And to be honest, I don't really like these colors. They seem too dark, and because winter is coming, I thought it's a good idea to switch into pastel colors this time, and that's why I bought this set of pastel colors. So here's the first week that I used the highlighters, and I really like how it turned out. Compared to the previous spread, I think it brightened up the whole page. So I usually block time for my dissertation. For those who don't know me, I'm a grad student working on a PhD thesis. I chose the orange color to indicate time for my work. And I usually start my day working from 6am to 8am so that I get 2 hours work done in the morning right away. If you're interested in this type of routine or want to participate in building a habit like this one, please check my Instagram stories for the coming month. As I announced at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna share my routine every day in December on Instagram stories. And you're more than welcome to join me with the hashtag PlannerGirl777. Through using Passion Planner since this summer, I came to realize how significant it is to prioritize tasks and projects that you find deeply valuable. Without deliberate practice, we tend to spend our time dealing with tasks that come from external demands such as urgent deadline for work, emails and appointments. But what matters the most is to actually put your focus and energy to something important. So I'm working on my dissertation now, but even if I don't write a dissertation, no one will be in trouble except myself. And it's not like I have to write a dissertation. I can always quit my grad school and do something else. So I write dissertation simply because it is valuable to me. And that is why I need to prioritize it over other tasks. And because such important tasks and projects are not urgent or necessary in any demanding sense, you have to do it without relying on external force. The blocking time for such projects, therefore, is like making promise to yourself. And so I consider the boxes on the left section as my commitment to myself. So after my 2 hour work in the morning, I walk my dog usually around 8.15. Since I tend to work intensively for 2 hours, walking outside enjoying fresh air is very refreshing. Then I eat breakfast before I start working at 9am again. One thing I want to mention is that the width of the tracking section is wider than the planning section. So as you can see, I write more in the tracking, writing down what I did and how well I focused during the session. In the planning section, I simply make a box blocking time for my work. I don't decide specific tasks till either the day before or the beginning of the session because the process of writing dissertation is full of unpredictability. I utilize the hourly vertical layout by writing not only the time of my appointments, but also when I have to leave for the appointments. It helps me being aware of how much time is left to get my stuff done and when to get ready for the appointments. So in a nutshell, I try to do an intensive work in the morning and leave the afternoon relatively open to keep each day flexible. As for a note section at the bottom, I've been tracking my work time of a day in this diagram. I've already talked about it in a different video, so I'm not gonna explain what it is in this one. 
for a diagram, I've used this Energel 0.7 millimeter pen, but with these stubby little highlighters, it smudges a little bit. I don't know if it shows on the screen. And so I decided to go with friction pen this time and hopefully it wouldn't smudge as bad as the energy pen. FYI, I had no problem with mild liner, so I guess you need to be more careful with stabilo pens. Also, stabilo pens bleed through paper more easily than mild liners. Last but not least, I keep track of my focus level for my work. I use purple to indicate low, green as neutral, and yellow as high. Every 30 minutes after one Pomodoro session, I record how my focus level was in each row. That's it for the plan with me part. I hope you enjoyed watching my planning process and it inspired or motivated your planning process in some way. So here's a quick tutorial of how to use Instagram and Instagram stories. When you share a picture, you can write some sentences and hashtags, as you can see here. Make sure you don't put any space between a hashtag and a word following the hashtag. Now you post a picture with a hashtag, say planagirl777 in this case. Your picture shows up when you search pictures by the hashtag. And this is how we can share our planner pictures. With Instagram stories, you can share pictures and a 20 second long video for 24 hours. You can add hashtag with Instagram stories as well. Once you post an Instagram story, it appears under the hashtag on the top of the page with a red circle. Instagram stories are super handy because it only lasts for 24 hours and so we can easily share how we do our day with a planner on Instagram stories.